fans and welcome to Big Ten Plus. We are coming to you from Williams Arena in Minneapolis where the Minnesota Gophers host the Bemidji State Beavers for an exhibition game. My name is Matt Whitlock alongside Andrew Cornelius for this in-state matchup. Andrew, it's good to be back. Oh yeah, it's awesome time of year when basketball season begins. It's just an exhibition game, but these two teams are excited. Preseason ramp up to the season. And we're off, Gophers. Wearing their gold jerseys here today. Beavers in their black and green jerseys. Garcia a little missed it there, but he has pos possession. Betts didn't get a lot of play time last year. It'll be interesting to see how they plan to use him this year. He's one of the few returning players on the Gopher side. Hey, Parker Fox as well. So a lot of good bigs on this Minnesota squad. Garcia now with blonde hair. New face of this team working inside and he dances around and brings it home. Yeah, and that's the difference between the Big Ten and the Mayak right there. Yeah, just a size difference there inside the paint. Garcia huge on this Gophers team and Gophers come right back up with the ball. Mike Mitchell, other side of the floor. Rigsby Fabric slams it down. He's explosive. You can see that. Ooh. Ben Johnson has spoke very highly of Rigsby coming into this. Bemidji State working inside, up and over. Rigsby back in possession of it. Maintaining control inside and one wow. out the bucket and the foul. What a finish there. Captain of this whole program right now. And add that to the total to the other side of the floor here. Williams with his left hand gets rid of it. In the corner over Garcia gets it. ATN. Great shot over tough defense, right? A little bit of five out here from the Gophers. Calls for the screen. Back to Garcia. Top of the key. Inside. Falls. Gets it out. Kicks it out. Ball's moving all the way around. And oh. ball's going down. They just tech teed up uh, Caden Betts, it looked like, for the reaction. But what a poster slam that was. Getting a look here on the Jumbotron. Oh my goodness, all over John Sutherland. There's the explosiveness you can see. Shoot the technical free throw. Three throws, excuse me. Well, to the other Mitchell, Mike to Frank there on that one, just couldn't get the drop. Athian is all over the floor. A switch and Garcia gets it denied, but Beaver. Athian kicks it out. Beaver slowing it down. Defense comes up with it. Mitchell coast to coast, hammers it down. I didn't get to see the whole dunk package there, but just an easy little one-handed flush or two-handed flush. Frank Mitchell, player who Ben Johnson was very excited for, and that is not going to count the Gophers here in the house. Fox could get a lot more play time. A standout sixth man. He was incredible off the bench last year and from three and Gophers connect for the first time. We're seeing all parts of Brennan Rigsby's game so far in the early stretches. Inside and you see Adrian going all over the place here today. Edmonds also on the floor here for the maroon and gold. Mitchell inside keeping control of the ball. Edmonds just too big. Showing off the strength there. You see the muscles, and he utilizes them, them to full. Williams inside. A lot of contact, and there's the call. Add vertical from NI NSIC the last two seasons. And this is where Sutherland ready to check in. consistently changing up 
Yeah, the beauty of the exhibition early season basketball as that one is John Pekarich. Mitchell, that's just what he does. Mid-range, deep in the paint. His career. Caleb Williams checks in for the Gophers out on the outside. Caleb Williams, Gophers fans may know from last year's exhibition game when they played McAllister. Oh, the cleanup. Oh. Pekarich, no good. Had the space on that shot, just unable to knock it down. Awesome. Fox, a little razzle dazzle. And perfectly for that lay. I have to say, Andrew, I'm impressed by the ball movement from these teams as they're, of course, not used to playing together, but they don't look like it. No Ooh. burn. I mean, the bank is open. Bemidji now, two for four, two for six beyond the arc. Fox gets the call. Fox loves contact. He'll go right up into any play here today as Frank Mitchell and Caden Betts have shown us. Being an all around character. Just playing for more minutes in the regular season. Jalen Patterson checks in for the first time. A lot of those fill in guys more needing those rebounds need to play tough defense long three got it patterson inside bounce pass kicks it out another three yes williams Awesome. Inside Parker Fox gets it down. Through the contact and everything, but the problem right now for the Gophers, the viewers are four for eight from deep. Yeah, you were good to continue to see them try to get that ball inside as hands were up. Edmonds doesn't like the call. Uh, it was 98 ranked player in the country in this freshman recruiting class. You see him all around the place inside double teamed. Mitchell clear lane lets it fall. Beautiful Euro step to get himself right. In Grove. Second chance points called off. come back from break that might change here three ball rims out Mitch on the rebound coast to coast working inside gets the call that's the type of aggression coach Ben John on this Gophers team have a scoring drought that has lasted three minutes Mitchell did not but Ben Johnson is hopeful for the recruits that they were able to get. But losing five of their core players in that last year's team is going to really hurt them. But Garcia with the second chance. Just taps it home. Garcia quickly puts it in, rushes to defense, does not take any time to celebrate, but now gets the call. Struggled with turnovers the last few seasons and throughout the Ben Johnson era. I know bringing in Asima, great ball handle, a lot of played more clean basketball, putting together two halves of basketball by the end of the season. And Ben Johnson is hoping to ride that out into this year. So Mitchell does not connect from deep, but quickly rushes to defense. Almost had a piece of it, but he knocks it down. I mean, the unsung hero on that play, Braden Williams doing a great job to get a tap ahead for that finish. You see this team quick to transition. Mitchell gets another opportunity, and this time he connects. Judging. 16 minutes or so of game action. He's played 11 of them and has been the point guard for most of that time. And here he gets opportunity. Pegs it home. 
Welcome, the new guy on campus. Go for. And now comes up with a steal. Quick to bring it on the other side. Couple opportunity here. A push off. Going from two and 17 in Big Ten play to nine and 11 in league action this past. Coming from Trey Edmonds and Frank Mitchell, the two transfers that headed in. Of those 10 seniors and the junior, the upperclassmen, that's 11 upperclassmen on this Gophers team, none of them have been here since their freshman year. A long three, just a little short, but Beavers get a second opportunity, and this time Mayo not, did not get the bounce pass under the arm. Long pass, corner three. Another opportunity. Redemption knocks that one home, and Beavers back on top. That three ball getting down. Working it inside. A lot of black jerseys, but it does not matter. He lets them know. Taste of what Frank Mitchell's role will really be on this team. Just making that separation inside the paint and getting those rebounds. Averaged a double-double with Canisius last season as Mike Mitchell once again, a little floaty inside. Looking around. Beavers, less movement than we saw earlier in the game. Still touching the bounce. Kuntz inside, gets it off the board. Another I mean, time tall, called time. Ben Johnson wants to see all the awesome, uh, awesome action here today. Garcia inside, gets the call, and no bucket. Very tight there, whether he was far more than any other player on this Gophers team. For this Bemidji State team heading into the season. Garcia really comfortable clock down. Calling for movement, wants a clear lane, calls for the ISO, gets it, and gets the bucket. Shot clock with the game clock. Mitchell using all that time, watching that clock go down as it hits 10, 9, 8. There we go. Mitchell out to Garcia. Garcia inside. One move goes. Does not connect. And that is a wrap of the first quarter. First half. Gophers up 41-40. Right place, right time. Mike Mitchell Jr. <laughs> just looking at that rib, wanting to put the shot up, calling for it. Garcia keeps it, gets the call. Garcia, we talked about. He'll go into any sort of contact, and when you have that approach, you'll definitely get the chance to have the second half here so far. A lot of fouls on the floor. Bemidji State with 11 fouls on the day. Gophers with eight. Long two gets it. At for a big. Into inside, working to get those points in the paint. Another call on the goaltend. Soda. You see a lot slower of an offense here from the Gophers compared to the Beavers, who are playing super aggressive. Mike Mitchell, Cha Ching. Sit out. Garcia gets a piece of the action. Rims out. Wow. Little Piccolo down there. Get that out of here, says Dawson Garcia. Long pass up and quick. Fast break points with the Flames. It's it's with, with Liberty Flames. It's interesting to see how this team just completely changed, losing a lot of their core defenders. Uh, Garcia and Mitchell still having a day here today. And that's what you're wanting to see from Sutherland. Core player on this Beavers team, cashes in another free throw. He is who that team runs through. So now we put that no matter what happens here, they're happy with their performance. I mean, last year they struggled on the road. They only won three of 13 games on the road last year. Now they come over here in the barn, a packed barn, and are staying with the Gophers. Quiet barn. You hear that uh, 
celebration following parkour. Yeah, you don't get to play in the Williams Arena barn very often, so it's been definitely worth the trip in time a little bit. Fair coffee. Gover's legend now playing with the Clippers. He'll also be joined by Cam Christie, who was drafted from the Gophers this last draft. He'll be joining Amir Coffey there. Parker Fox hooks it in. A lot to prove, a lot to prove this season. They're projected in the media poll, the preseason media poll, to finish dead last in the Big Ten. That is 18th of 18. Yeah, and the, the players mentioned it yesterday at the availability, the urgency that comes with this season, because as we've talked about already, 10 seniors, a lot of them in their final year of eligibility, obviously with the COVID year and the graduate season, but a lot of them in their final season. Mitchell, he's as cool. Mitchell's been incredible. A little bit of a heat check there. Fox inside. Got the size difference and gets the call. And just the player I wanted to highlight, Brennan Rigsby, out of all the transfers so far we've seen today and all the guards. Inside the paint here. Gopher is getting a lot of opportunity. And losing um, other Beaver in this matchup. Now steps out after playing 19. Another three ball. Now they find it. Make that six threes of the game. Three points now in four minutes for him. Grigsby gets the screen. Out to Osma. Finds Fox inside. No. Edmonds from UTSA, Mitchell from Canisius, but both looking to make an impact on the glass and scoring for this Gopher team. Yeah, we talked a lot about the players that the Gophers lost in the transfer portal, but yes, a lot have against the Gophers last year in the exhibition game. And knocks that one down, the Gophers now 10 for something that's been an issue for years now under the Ben Johnson era. We need these players to, Gophers fans will need these players to continue to step up from that free throw line given how many opportunities they're getting. 18 to seven, excuse me played community college ball now travels across the country to join this Bemidji State team Asuma inside he's quick but cannot get his footing to go and that's the under 12 timeout supporting their same sport different team here at the university first time we're in Maroon and gold in a game. Mike Mitchell making the read on that screen and then getting the deflection on the roll. And again, there he goes. Other side of the way. Inside gets a call. He's getting possession of the ball. Was moving a little quick before he... No points, no rebounds, just one assist, but four fouls to go along with three turnovers. So... Continues to move around. Can't get the ball inside, and now they do. Oh, just barely off the mark, but Sutherland did get the call. States 12th. Comes down with the board. Mayo looking to get rid of it. Sutherland back to Mayo. Mayo, mid-range, has it. Mayo says left. Now back to nine. Fox, aggressive. <laughs> Calls off the shot. Gets the contact. And there you see the size difference and the physical. Through his career, two for six on the day. Gophers are struggling. Oh, and he redeems himself and gets the call. Count it. A Division I school, 10 missed free throws is really going to haunt you. Make that 11. A long pass from the corner inside. Beats the man, but <laughs> just gets a piece of that one. Get it out of here. Mitchell, quick, three, has that one. Knocks down, jumping. 
elevation and shot creation. The Gophers are rolling. Looking for it. Dribbles to his right, fakes it, but does not get anything on that shot. Rigsby working to his right, does not stop. Full speed. Drop that one down and give him one. First that the Gophers have really needed in this game. They had a 6 0 run in 53 seconds earlier. And 12 turnovers. Most of them coming from the second half. Good tip by Garcia. Rigsby now takes a deep one. Hits it from St. Paul. Brennan Rigsby, ice cold on that stroke. Knocked it down, it falls through a Minnesota dominate now. Looked like Edmonds almost had a piece of it. Great work to Dia. Looking to get rid of it, keeps it himself, turns around, spin move, and puts it in. That's just the Garcia we've seen since he came here. He's like, it's a little too easy. Ball control works it around the perimeter. Inside, Edmonds has it. Contact all over as Sutherland now with four fouls on the day. Well, and that's what you call mouse in the house. Edmonds on Sutherland, he's got four fouls. Four, another man with four fouls. Sixth free throw attempt for the Gophers as another one does not get through. Back to Pekaric, long two. It's nothing on that shot. Ball back in the hands of Rigsby. Moves inside a bunch of Be Beavers players, but it does not matter. And from the floor are the Beavers on their last nine attempts. Caleb Williams, the transfer from McAllister, will check in at the next dead ball as he hits that one home. The third bank of the game, not m many times to see that one. Awesome ahead. Player that needs to step up because of the loss at the guard position here in Minnesota. Inside, yeah. Floaty gets it to fall. Yeah, and Rigsby's played in bigger games than this one especially. He was a part of the Pac-12 champion. Definitely trying to boost their confidence on the defensive end, and it has worked to perfection. A lot of blocks, some steals, deflections, all of it. Asuma taking it himself inside and gets that one. <laughs> Points in high school, and he shows you how he scores like that in, in his first collegiate game, unofficially, but still. An impressive feat. Hits that one down, and that is Patterson. Cashing in on his racing Grove said, there's not only one freshman on the court right now. I'm here as well, and announces his name in lights with that block. That's a highlight reel stuff. That's another call on him. Speed on that fast break to block that one. Not the first half they were looking for, but they've really shown after leading by one at half. Williams, top of the key, inside. Floats it to Mitchell. Mitchell bobbles it. And that'll do it, I believe. That's If it's on uh, 23 Sutherland, six on seven shots, it showcases how... Gophers running away with this one in the second half. Now, you can see there... Yeah, and with 13 less attempts, just two less free throws made for the Beavers. They've made 11 of their 15. Inside, puts in the reverse, Newburn. Eight points, three for eight. And the two areas that are especially going to be pointed out, not only by the media, but by Coach Ben Johnson himself, the rebounding and the free throw line. Another three goes up and in. Caleb Willie. Newer guards here on campus. Uh, Gophers very active in the transfer portal. Inside, Betts working on it, gets that little hook and puts it down, Betts. In the Big Ten Conference, a Division I school facing a Division II opponent and the Beavers. Betts looking for another one and he gets it. Too big. Three for three. Count it. Flex on. 24 foul. Tough stretches from this Gopher team, especially in the first half, and then from the free throw line, that's extended now into the second. Freshman to freshman, Grove to Asuma. Inside, Mitchell gets that one. Really dominating that paint here today. Some very sp bright spots from the Gopher Larson lets additions. it fly.
whether it was Rigsby or us Asma as a guard, a freshman entering, or even uh, Parker Fox and Troy Edmonds and Frank Mitchell, the Gophers had some great play from a lot of different guys, some key contributors not even playing today, but the Gophers did a big win. Second half performance from this Minnesota Gophers team. Great to see for them. I mean, if you're Bemidji State, are you really going to walk away with your heads down? This was a hard fought game throughout the first half. It was back and forth, back and forth. It was those Gophers adjustments on defense to stop any points inside the arc that has helped them out. And